The Final Fantasy XIV Sammy Webhook plugin is a tool I made that lets you automate OBS actions based on in-game events. For example, I can set it up so that it plays a sound file when I enter my burst window, I've lost so much money, but I have to keep gambling if I want to win! and reacts based on whether I crit or not. Aw, dang it! I can't stop winning! It does this by sending game information to a program called Sammy, which handles all the logic and controls OBS remotely. To get started, you'll need to install both Sammy and OBS, which should be pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to cover it here. Inside Sammy, just to make sure everything's set up correctly, make sure you click Settings in the bottom left, and in this Connections tab page, make sure this Open Local API Server button is enabled. Uh, if you want to set a password, you can, you don't have to. Uh, and click save and close. To install the plugin in game, just look up Sammy in the plugin installer window. If you don't see it here, make sure you go into Dalamood settings under the experimental tab. Make sure get plugin testing builds is checked and it should show up. Uh, once you install it, the window should look like this. Uh, these are the default settings. You shouldn't have to change any of this. If you set a password, make sure it's the same thing here. And then you can double check if it works uh, by clicking test connection. If everything's working, you should get this pop-up. So now that we have everything set up, we're going to work on an example. Uh, this is just going to be an example that plays uh, in effect when we collect a vulnerability stack. So to start, we're just going to create a new deck. Double click to get in. Create button. And edit triggers. We're going to do a webhook trigger. Since we're looking at our debuffs, we're going to create a trigger for flight text update. Since whenever we get a debuff, it's going to create a flying text thing that says, you know, plus vulnerability up. And we'll go in here, give this a label, label it flight text. You probably want to name it something, I'm not going to bother. Name it something that you're going to remember. And then here, to get the data from the webhook, we're going to say trigger pull data and save the variable as whatever. I'm just going to name it fly text, xiv fly text, pull value all, and save. OK, save button. Uh, and inside here, I'm just going to make sure that this is actually working, so I'm going to go back in the game. I'm going to do sprint. The sprint creates the fly text, and if I go back into Sammy, I click open variable window in the bottom here, play text, data, let's see, plus sprint. So we know this trigger is working. And we're going to create an if statement here. So if statement, if the value, um, you can type this out manually, but one thing you can do that will make sure you get it right is in the bottom here, click open variable window, click XIV fly text data and we want this value text one so if we click this middle button this kind of snaky looking thing it'll copy that variable uh, name so now we don't have to type out this whole thing and make sure we didn't make any typos I'll just make sure it's completely correct and we want to make sure it's checking for when we get a vulnerability up Over in OBS, I'm just going to add all the elements that I want to play and appear when the effect triggers. So I'm going to add a big ol' long stack debuff icon. Obviously, this looks like shit, but you know, get a uh, better picture for your own stuff. And I'm going to add a color correction filter on this so that uh, Sammy's going to be able to make it fade in and out when the effect plays. And I'm going to add a vine boom. That's going to play at the same time as the picture. Back in Sammy now, I'm just going to add commands in here to make sure um, I can control all the effects in OBS. So I'm going to put them outside the if statement for now, just to make sure I can test them. But once I've confirmed that, I will uh, put them inside the statement. So I'm just going to put media restart. This is going to play the Vine Boom. 
So when the effect activates, it's going to restart that audio file. And then for my bone stock, I'm going to do an alpha filter to make it uh, fade in and out when the effect plays. Color correction filter. It's going to start perfectly visible and then become transparent. And I'm going to do this over two seconds. So save on the button. I'm going to click run to see if it works. Perfect. So this looks good. I'm going to drag this inside here. And all I have to do is test to make sure that this if statement actually works correctly. In game, I've just entered a fight that I know is going to give me bone stacks. I uh, have my plugin window open just to make sure, double check all my settings are correct. And hey, it works! So that's just a quick example of the kind of stuff you can make with the plugin right now. Uh, for this example, we only looked at fly text, um, but on the left you can see all the types of information that the plugin can currently send to Sammy. Uh, if you have any recommendations on stuff you'd like to see added, let me know. Thanks.